Some people hustle food, some people hustle cars. But have you ever heard about the man who hustles stars? Jack Horkheimer, Star Hustler, director of the Miami Space Transit Planetarium. Our episode for this week, Monday, June 1st through Sunday, June 7th, is Eclipse of the Strawberry Scorpion Teapot Moon. And now here to tell you all about tonight's sky and the biggest show of all, the universe, your star hustler, Jack Horkheimer. Greetings, greetings, fellow stargazers, and yes, indeed, this upcoming full moon of June, which is often called the Strawberry Moon, will be plunged into darkness just as it passes directly between the constellations Scorpius the Scorpion and the Teapot of Sagittarius. And you'll be able to watch it with nothing more than the naked eye. But in case you've forgotten what causes a lunar eclipse, let me refresh your memory. Now, if you recall, the moon does not make its own light, but only reflects light from the sun. So, simply speaking, an eclipse of the moon occurs whenever the full moon rides directly into the Earth's shadow, which blocks out the light of the sun. And what we see from Earth is a brilliant moon turned into a very dark moon in a matter of just a couple of hours. And the effect can be both dramatic. In fact, historically, it literally scared the living daylight, or should I say, moonlight, out of people. In fact, it was lunar eclipses that I saw as a child that turned me personally onto astronomy. So, let's show you exactly when and where to look for this upcoming eclipse of the Strawberry Scorpion Teapot Moon. Okay, we set our sides up for Sunday night, June 14th, and all you have to do is go outside and look toward the south where you will find the beautiful full moon of June, the strawberry moon, smack dab between Scorpius the Scorpion and the teapot of Sagittarius. Now, because the full moon of June always rides lower across the sky than most other full moons, it frequently picks up a bit of coloration from Earth's atmosphere and often looks faintly pinkish or strawberry colored or faintly yellowish or honey colored, depending on your latitude and local atmospheric conditions. But this Sunday, that will all change. Because at 11.30 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, 8.30 Pacific, the moon will begin its rise to the deepest part of the Earth's shadow, the umbra. And as you watch for the next hour and a half, you will see two-thirds of the moon go darker Indeed, by 1 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time, 10 p.m. Pacific, the moon will reach its darkest. And then, for the next hour and a half, it will slowly drift out of the Earth's shadow and rising up once again. Remember now, the eclipse will begin at 11.30 p.m. Eastern Time, 8.30 p.m. Pacific. It will reach its darkest point at 1 a.m. Eastern 10 p.m. Pacific, and it will be all over at 2.30 a.m. Eastern Time, 11.30 p.m. Pacific. Now, this eclipse may be much darker than usual because of something peculiar that happened recently, and I'll tell you all about it, plus some special things to watch for in next week's episode. But in the meantime, remember... Up. Everybody loves it. Have you ordered yours yet? The first Star Hustler video almanac. 16 episodes especially designed for each month and season of the year. To order, call 1-800-533-8321. Have your credit card ready and call now. Star Hustler is brought to you by Sky and Telescope Magazine. Available in libraries and on newsstands everywhere. If you can't find a copy, dial toll-free 1-800-221-3148 for the location of your nearest distributor. Tomorrow evening on KPBS, don't miss the return of the Animal Collection at 8, then at 9.